Okay, welcome back. And uh, now you have done your profile and you have registered on the dashboard. And now I want to take you through quickly how to start your user page. The reason why we want to make you do the user page is that it's a very good way to introduce yourself to the, um, to the Wikipedia community on your language. Um, you can choose, of course, if you prefer to put it on any other Wikipedia version, but uh, uh, the best thing is to put it where you are going to actually be working on Wikipedia. So I will show this to you in the in the English uh, language version, but um, that is just so everyone can follow on the menus and, and these things. Um, so please, please choose your own. And why, why do you need this introduction? We, I mean, Wikipedia is all about volunteers. Every, I mean, all the content on the Wikipedia is written by people like you and me in their spare time who just have this passion for sharing knowledge, to making knowledge available for everyone, everywhere. Everything for everyone, everywhere. It's, it's impressive and it's, it's a massive, it's a community that is really vibrant and people are so passionate. And of course, as a newcomer, it's very nice to, out of respect to the others, show a bit where you come from, what, not, like, not uh, country, but I mean where you come from in terms of what is your field of interest and what is your motivation to be here. Uh, of course, you can just write you are forced to because you are studying, but I think it will be much more interesting for the community and for yourself to share something about um, your, say, your passion or your interest for using Wikipedia or learning how to use Wikipedia as one of the many tools that you're going to have to help indigenous communities, in indigenous languages to, to grow, to be revitalized, to find their own uh, platform, to grow on their own platform. So uh, that's why we're here now. Um, also, I will uh, want to say that the, the editor in, in Wikipedia is a bit old style maybe so it's good to use to practice on your user page before starting actually practicing in, in proper articles okay so this is the english front page of wikipedia you have seen this many times before so i don't need to go through any of this um, i want to show you one funny part of it it's on the left on your menu on the left you have a, a menu called Contribute, and under this you find one called Recent Changes. Uh, <clears throat> this is uh, just a list of all the new edits that has been done on Wikipedia as we speak. So if I put on this one now, Live Updates, <clears throat> this one will just keep rolling, yeah, and you will see everything that's going on. So. If you wondered how much action there is on Wikipedia, well, this is the place to go to see how, what, what's going on in your Wikipedia right now, I mean, in your language. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that you probably notice very easily here, very quickly, is the red links, like this uh, 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 Nozin. This, uh, this is an account that doesn't have a username. Um, while all the user in blue, so, well, I'm going to show you here first. So this is the article that they are talking about. This is the timestamp of the edit. This is the change. It's added 239 uh, signs. This is the user. And in the user, it has a talk page and a contribution page. So that is the main thing here to understand. Let's introduce ourselves to each other and to the community. I click on my username and as I haven't created a user before, um, it's empty. A lot of info because we are in the English version. Of course, this will differ a bit. What it says here will differ, but uh, the user page is mine to edit. It's my user that edit mine. It doesn't mean that other people can't, they just don't because you just don't. And so we don't edit other users' uh, pages. Uh, okay, so now it's loading the editor and there are some notification, we just take them away. So 
the headline is my username and I click here and I can say hello uh, this is what we call a visual editor so this is more or less similar it has the same functions that you know from word or google docs or whatever you're using here you can choose if you are writing a heading if you have a subheading page title if you have a quote or something you choose them and it gets uh, added there straight away here you can choose um, the um, all these common edits of the other uh, letters here you can link you can add a link to wikipedia site or external site so if you have a website you want to link to or something you can use this one you have a citation say you want to reference something of course on your user page that's not so relevant but in when you write articles it's going to be much more relevant uh, here you can create lists and inserts there is a lot of templates you can insert uh, i don't know hieroglyphs i haven't used all these things this is just to show you there is uh, a lot of um, uh, opportunities and you can use the special symbols if you want to add some um, yeah uh, some of them we got and then here you can change because say you are if you're a bit into coding you can code um, your website or your user site uh, okay so um, I have written my hello and I want to add a little box uh, a little uh, a box we co that is called Babel uh, because it shows which languages I know um, to do this you, I, you need to add some special signs and I'm not sure how to find them on my own keyboard so I always copy from someone else so I will add the whole formula in, in, uh, in our user page in the, in the, or in the course instruction page so you can copy it from there so now I'm just going to paste it here so it says is those two things I, I don't know where to find them <laughs> and then you have the hashtag it says Babel and a column and then is this line NB is uh, is my mother tongue. NB is a Norwegian bookmark. So it's NB without anything else. That me that means that tells to the system, okay, that's the code for um, mother tongue. Is a line. Then is the next language is English, EN, and I would say my my level is three. I don't know. Then I also speak uh, some Spanish conversational, so slightly worse than English. So I put it to level two. Um, now you can go to to the show preview button and then you see I get this one so